In today's video, I'll be going over advice for high schoolers who would like to go into nursing and are wondering how they can get a head start in going that direction. We'll go over what classes to take, if you have them available at your school, what happens if you don't have them available at your school, some non-traditional volunteer hours and jobs that look really good on admissions essays, and all the advice that I wish I had known if I was sitting in your shoes, which once upon a time, long, long ago, <laughs> longer than I'd care to admit, I was. Hello there. If you're new here, welcome. I am Liz. I am a family nurse practitioner. And if you had asked me in high school what I wanted to be when I grew up, I would have told you that I have no freaking idea. Because how are you supposed to know what you want to be when you are like 15, 16, 17 years old, 18, 23, it's fine. It took me a little bit longer than most, it's fine. But all I knew that was that I didn't want to be a pesticide sprayer um, like those predictor tests told me to. They like all told me I should be that. I was like, that's interesting. I don't think I'm gonna go that route. <laughs> a lot of outside. Um, and I knew that I wanted to work in a social environment. So just the fact that you are sitting here watching this video about how to get a leg up on your nursing education as a high school student to me is honestly remarkable. And you should be insanely proud of yourself for even having like an inkling of knowing what you want to do. I'm 33. And I still like cannot seem to figure it out apparently for the life of me. So it's fine. It's fine, everything's gonna be fine. Uh, but really, go you. Uh, let's first um, talk about some classes. So when it comes to classes, I would focus not on the ones that are gonna replace your college classes necessarily, like AP, I mean, those are good, but don't die on that hill. But you wanna focus on ones that are going to prepare you for the content that is in nursing school and the prereqs so that it's not new when you get there. In your nursing school, in the prereqs, every school will have a list of subjects that you need to take. I highly recommend looking at the schools that you're considering and looking at their prerequisites for the nursing program. You should be able to find that information out by looking at the nursing school's homepage on the website of the school you're thinking of attending and write down all of those classes, all the prerequisites that you're gonna have to take and maybe even the core classes too. And the classes in general should look something kind of like this, statistics, algebra, biology, microbiology, chemistry, biochemistry, organic chemistry, nutrition, human anatomy and physiology and psychology. It may vary based on where you go, but those are generally the basics. Now, you are going to want to take classes that introduce you into the topics that we just listed. If your school offers anatomy, psychology, or statistics, I highly recommend that you take them. Any introduction to the topic now will make learning it later so much easier. If your school has AP classes, I would absolutely encourage you to take either biology or chemistry or both, honestly, both would be perfect. <laughs> then you would have a great leg up on both. Um, but do those instead of physics, uh, the, especially if you really think you're going this path because physics, most of the time nursing school doesn't require it. So if you're gonna get a leg up on something, it might as well be the other two which you will absolutely see. And even if you change your mind later and shift to another field, it's more likely that chemistry and biology would be needed than physics. Um, physics is usually a less common requirement unless you're going into like engineering and some med schools want it, but all, everyone essentially almost always wants chemistry and then bio and then physics. So maybe just do chem. <laughs> Okay, now if your school doesn't offer these, you're sitting there you're like, oh my gosh, my school doesn't even have those, I, I don't want you to worry. You will absolutely be okay. I truly, truly believe in the power of Khan Academy on YouTube, which is free, to get you through nursing courses when it comes to taking the prereqs eventually. But if you do get to pick some classes and the school does offer some of those things like stats and more healthcare-based sciences, I would definitely go for those. Next, this is probably super unhelpful advice. <laughs> just gonna preface it by saying that, okay? But you you really need to try to get good-ish grades. Not perfect ones, you don't need to be perfect, but good-ish, can we, can we get good-ish? 
because nursing school is freaking competitive, especially depending if you're in an area of the country that there's a huge like nursing school shortage. That's a mess. Fortunately, the internet is full of resources to help you study. Find a study style that works for you, a note style, YouTube, like half of your education if you need it. They explain things really well. But bottom line, you need to do whatever you need to do to get goodish grades because a huge prereq for nursing school is a general GPA. Like you have to get this and there's a cutoff. And it's hard to get around that if you haven't met the requirements and then you kind of end up getting stuck and you have to repeat classes. And if you don't meet them, I don't want you to feel like you're out of luck forever because like I said, you can always go into college, go in undeclared, do your prereqs at college and then reapply to the nursing program with better grades. Or like I said, you could always repeat classes in once you get to college if you need to show like boost up your GPA a little bit. But there is no shortcut for this bit. And I wish there was because I am a human who does not take tests very well and my GPA was never anywhere near perfect. Um, so I feel you, we just have to boost ourselves up in other areas. Um, but it is what it is here. So spend some time figuring out what you need to do to get those grades up, what your minimum GPA needs to be and maybe if you can go a little bit beyond it. But I, you can do this, I promise, you can do this. YouTube, YouTube solves everything. Okay, now that we've kind of gotten all the classes set in your general like, you need to do good grades lecture over with, which is like, like I said, just generally unhelpful and I apologize. Let's work on beefing up your resume with some volunteer or work experience that is going to make you look wonderful for the admission committee, especially if you need a little bit boost on your GPA, okay? Um, so the first thing I wanna address here is that you do not need healthcare experience or healthcare volunteer hours on your resume to get into nursing school. It's a common myth I hear floating around and you don't need it. It's getting harder and harder to be able to actually volunteer at hospitals and hospital jobs are pretty rare until you are over the age of 18. If your high school offers some kind of immersion like CNA program, awesome, jump on that but a lot don't. Um, so I don't want you to feel like you're beating yourself up for not having healthcare experiences. There are so many other jobs or volunteer experiences that will give you the skills you will need to succeed in nursing school and will show your general interest in like healthcare and other human beings. And to get you started on a few ideas, I've compiled a list of jobs and volunteer opportunities that could work just to get your, you know, the brain rolling of ideas that would help you in this process. You could become a hostess or a server at a restaurant, work in a retail store. You could be a barista, coffee, always golden. Work in or volunteer at a nursing home. Volunteer at your community center or church with a children's group or an older adult program. You could babysit. You can work at a summer camp. You could be a lifeguard, walk dogs. Honestly, we can turn almost any experience into a good pre-nursing school experience that glows on your resume. Nursing school wants people who are motivated, organized, self, like, like I was gonna say self-setters, like, you know, you wanna get up and go. I should think of a better word for that, I apologize. Someone who's good at communicating and is responsible and teachable. They would also probably love to see that you, you know, like people for the most part, unless you want to work in the OR, then you don't need to do that. So you're going to want to find a job or a volunteer opportunity that involves other people. And I promise you can find some skills to highlight from almost any experience. And a little tip here is that you can go into your potential nursing school's admission page and see what characteristics they want from their applicants. This will be on their like mission statement page usually. And if you need some help finding out what ways to highlight like what characteristics to highlight in your admissions essay, that's where you're gonna draw them from. And FYI, if you want a whole video on how to write admissions essays that will make you look like the perfect applicant set up in like how you're gonna date your school, not to sound creepy, <laughs> I have a whole video about that. It's a formula you can just go through and I will leave it linked down below. But to make this really like hit it home, we can use me as an example and I'll share like what I did and how I talked about it, even though it was un untraditional. So I was a Chili's hostess. I also worked to go's. It was a glamorous, fabulous job and I actually loved it and that's how I met my husband. Yay. Um, when applying for the nursing program, I discussed how this experience taught me how to work well on a team, solve problems as they came up, 
stay organized under pressure, multitask, and refine my communication skills with difficult people. I didn't put with difficult people, but it did help me do that. <laughs> In terms of volunteering, I organize social events once a month at my local senior living center with one of my friends, um, and we like planned dances. It was very cute. And so there I highlighted more of my communication skills from that, as well as my leadership skills and my desire to promote wellness in the aging population through activity and community. See, you can make anything sound pretty good. And there was absolutely nothing like special about my volunteer experiences or my jobs. I just made it sound a lot better by highlighting what I knew that at nursing school wanted to see in an applicant. And I drew that out and I was like, oh, I've done that. And you can do this too, I promise. Go check out that video if you want more details, but I promise. You can make almost anything work. So overall, if while you don't need to work in a healthcare setting or anything like that, I would recommend having some kind of job in general or a volunteer experience because it will just show you off to be like a reasonable, responsible human. Now, because I am psychic, I can hear some of you saying, but Liz, I don't have time to do those things because I play every single sport and I am an all-star in all of them and I am the first chair player in orchestra for the trombone. And friends, don't worry, do not worry about having a job and doing a ton of volunteering if you're already doing the other half of the world. You can pull out those exact same character traits and all of those positive things from when you've been all starring. Uh, can you tell I'm like super good at sports? I don't think you could be the coach. Maybe you're like the head player, don't really know. I was an orchestra. I'm a very proud brand nerd here. I played the flute, marching band, yay. Um, but whatever you are, whatever you did, you contributed to the team in some way. You have learned how to work in groups. You've likely gained leadership skills. You know how to overcome challenges and learn new skills and work hard and commit yourself to difficult tasks for the long term, even when you don't wanna do it because you wanna become a better all-star or orchestra person. And that shows a ton of discipline. A ton of determination and all of those other lovely qualities so by all means do not worry about it if you're doing it all um, and don't like try to stack a job on top of it if you don't have to have one and do extra volunteer hours on top of what you're already required to do if you're already doing all those other things just pull those experiences from the other aspects of your life and now because this is my last bit of advice and it's it's very mom advice i'm gonna just come right out with that and i know that but i am a mom so it's fine <laughs> i want you to enjoy life friends spend time with your parents i know it sounds lame but really you'll miss it do fun things are these are really your last years to kind of enjoy life without responsibility like a ton of it for most people you have the rest of your life to be an adult so just like chill out okay you don't need to get into like the best of the best colleges i promise you will not care in like two years everything is going to turn out totally fine just take a deep breath it really is and enjoy your life a little bit okay deep breath we're all gonna be fine you're gonna be fine i promise all right, friends, I hope that this helps some of you who are currently aiming for nursing school and you're in high school. And if anyone who is not in that has any advice for what you wish your old high school self knew in regards to general pre-nursing stuff or even just college in general, please drop it down below. Also, all mom advice is helpful and welcome. Do not make me feel like I'm the only one giving it. And also if you're in high school and you're figuring all of this out now and walking this path, then just let us know in the comments, ask if you have any questions, kind of like camaraderie with people who are down there. I don't think that's a verb, but we're gonna make it one. And we can all kind of learn in this together. And I will also, it'll help me learn what to address in future videos on similar topics. Thanks for being here, friends. Remember, you can do this. It will all be okay. Okay, deep breaths, one. I feel like we just need to keep repeating this. That's what my past high school self needed to hear is that it's gonna be fine. And I promise it'll be fine and just chill. You got this. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.